In this video, we'll continue making some adjustments to the wrinkle layer of our monstrous texture. Okay, so here we are where we left off in the previous video. So we've got the wrinkle layer now placed pretty much where we want it, and we've got it set up to where it now fits pretty nicely over the torso of our monster. Okay, so but before we move on, I want to go ahead and make a couple of minor adjustments to this wrinkle layer. One of those is that I really don't like, in Maya, the way that these wrinkles look. Okay, what I really envisioned whenever I was making this creature was having these wrinkles actually have more of a white color inside of the cracks. So a very easy way to do this within Photoshop is to simply inverse the colors so that these black cracks in the skin actually will become white. Okay, so what I can do with this wrinkle layer selected, let's go ahead and go to Image, Adjustments, and let's invert the colors. Okay, or I usually just use the, short, the keyboard shortcut, which is Control-I. Okay, so let's invert this. And now, very quickly and very easily, I now have white cracks in the skin. Okay, and if I wanted to be able to take a look at this within Maya, remember, you would have to take this wrinkle layer and link that and merge it with the skin base. Okay, so now that those two now those two layers become one. Okay, so let's save this, reload this, and now I have something that looks much more like what I originally wanted, where we have this really tough leathery skin with these white cracks that run uh, through it. So that's really more of the look that I originally wanted with this monster. Okay, so now that I know that this looks correct, what I'll want to do is go back to Photoshop and make sure that I undo uh, to the step before I merge this wrinkle layer. Okay, because I want to still make sure that this is its own layer. Because I'm going to need to be able to duplicate it to be able to put it on other parts of the body. And then also I'm going to be able to I need to make sure that this wrinkle layer is separate so that I can use it for the bump map later on. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this wrinkle layer. We'll duplicate it. Okay, and we'll go ahead and get this placed over the legs. Okay, and what I'll actually do is free transform this. And let's scale it down a little bit so that it fits over the back legs. Okay. And also, let's duplicate this wrinkle layer and move it up over the front legs. Okay, I'll probably need to make sure uh, that it's not actually uh, penetrating this border of the UV layout for the head. So what I may need to do is simply just go in with my eraser and just erase this back. Here we go. So we've pretty much got everything set up and it looks like I actually need to take this up and make sure that we actually do encompass everything within this UV layout. Okay, I'll go ahead and hit enter. Now again, if I wanted to double check this within Maya to see how everything looked, remember, since all of these layers use a blend mode and have opacity on them, we'll have to make sure that these get merged together into one layer. So let's merge these just to be able to see how they look within Maya. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, and now you can start to see this texture that's flowing over this entire creature within Maya. And now this is really starting to add more depth and more detail to this skin. Okay, you may have areas like this within your model, areas around the shoulder where you're getting stretching happening. Okay, luckily though, that's not going to be too difficult to fix. What we can do is just go back to the UV texture editor and make some minor adjustments to this until everything fits correctly. Okay, so we may need to go in and 
just adjust some of these UVs. Pull a few of these in. And there's really not going to be any uh, surefire way of just making sure that you get these uh, this stretching eliminated altogether. But what you can do is just push and pull these points and you can see now I've I've managed to eliminate a lot of the stretching that's happening right there in that shoulder area. So you may have to go in and in areas like this and areas down here along this bottom part of the uh, uh, arm muscle, you may need to make a few minor adjustments and maybe even around this area as well to make sure that this skin texture doesn't stretch any more than necessary. So in the next video, we'll continue making adjustments to this wrinkle layer.